in the case where you need to compare a uh, value against several other values, uh, SQL has a little trick for that. Uh, you might, as a beginner, be tempted to do, like for example, I have all the customers in their countries. Let's say I wanted to get the people from France and Germany. So I could say where country equals France or their country equals Germany. And I can uh, run that and, and notice we have all the German and the French customers. And then if I wanted the uh, uh, the Mexican customers, I could say uh, where country equal, I think it was Mexico. And now we have all the Mexican company, uh, customers, German, and French. Well, notice this uh, syntax here, where country equals France, or country equals Germany, or country equals Mexico. That, uh, whew, verbose. Okay, SQL has a little trick you can do. You can say, uh, you can say in, and uh, let's just do this hard-coded list here. In, um, oops, uh, there we go. Uh -huh. So now, look at this. This is a little bit more readable, more succinct. We can say where their country is in this list of countries. Run it. Same result. That's pretty nice. Um, we could also find the people that were not in that list. And uh, there we go. Switzerland, UK, Canada, a few USA. Very good. So, so there's the in and not in. In a future video, I'll show you how to use the in with a um, with the dynamic subquery. But but not now. Not now. Not not on the introduction.